Palma Taberno began game day five as one of five clubs to have already qualified for this year's CHL knockout stage. Not bad for their first CHL season, but Lee Borzabranski's side could also clinch the top spot in Group B on Tuesday with a three-point home win against the Malmo Redhawks. Taberno leads the Czech Extra League at nine games into their domestic season, and they got off to a fast start shorthanded against Malmo. Martin Docha call with the puck behind the net. Then Leos Chernock with the wraparound goal past Christopher Nielstorp between the pipes for Malmo. Only 103 into the game. Chernock into the net and 1-0 for Komata. Short time later, 2-0 for Berno. Martin Zadovich with the biscuit in the basket. Martin Erat the assist. Zadovich's goal made it 2-0 for Komata, and that's how it stayed after the first. But then, in the second period, power play goal by Max Gertz pulled Malmer back into the game from a sharp angle past Marek Chiliak. However, that rally was short-lived. Again, a short-handed chance, and again, a short-handed goal. This time, Erat assisted by Zadovich. Zadovich carrying the puck forward. Erat taking a nice position and a nice cool finish. Makes it 3-1, Kalmata after two. And then in the first minute of the third period, twisting back to the point, shot flung in front, rebound into the net by Tomas Voboda. It was Wojtek Nemec with a shot right here. Swiveling, putting the puck on goal. Neustorp made the save, but Svoboda gets the puck in the net. Kalmata surely going through as Group B winners. But hang on a moment. Nicholas Arrow with the blast. Taking the feed from Nicholas Hart and beating Chiliak for the second time on the night. 4-2 now the score. Still plenty of time left in the third period. And not even two minutes later, again a goal. This time Tuka Mentola. Assist from Eric Anderson, Lucas Howdum. Anderson sliding the puck along. And the blast by Mentola made it 4-3. And just over a minute later, it's 4-4. Daniel Saar taking advantage of the giveaway. Saar in the high slot, and that sent us to overtime. In overtime, Komata on the power play, four on three, and they get the winner, Martin Arad's second goal of the night. However, the fact that it's only a two-point win means Malmer can still win the group with a three-point win on home ice next week. Still, final score in a wild game, 5-4, Berno.